This is exactly what I've been saying is happening. People, animals, all life on this planet, the birds, the bees are getting sick and dropping dead from radiation poisoning with the new Wi-Fi infrastructure. We are going to take a look at a news clip and I want it to be very clear that these children do not have coronavirus. They are attempting to skew and distort this new mysterious illness that children are suffering from. Warning more details and more cases of a complication that can affect the heart and blood vessels of children that's been linked to. Late Wednesday, the American Heart Association putting out an alert for pediatricians everywhere to be on the lookout for symptoms. As New York State announced, they suspect at least 64 cases of what's being called pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. New York now mandating hospitals must immediately report cases to the State Department of Health. I understand why parents would be anxious. Uh, I think everybody should be. This is still a developing situation and we don't know all the facts. The symptoms appear to be similar to two known diseases, Kawasaki disease and the more dangerous toxic shock syndrome, ranging from fever and rash to vomiting and diarrhea. Jaden Hardawar, who is now recovered, even going into cardiac arrest. The syndrome is rare, but has been seen in Europe and several states in the U.S. The epicenter right now is New York. We just admitted another two last night. I have six in my intensive care unit right now who fit this criteria, and these kids can be very ill. While two studies from China and Europe now indicate children might spread the coronavirus, there's still a lot of unknowns. Experts warn kids across the country could be at risk for never before seen complications. Dr. Jane Newberger from Boston Children's Hospital says they've never seen anything like it. Can we tell parents yet which children might be more prone to getting this? I think we cannot yet uh, give any intelligent information about which children will or will not develop the syndrome. The timeline for when this inflammatory disease appears can be days to weeks after symptoms, suggesting lingering effects and danger even after recovering from the Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, New York. This is f bullshit. This whole news article is intertwining the virus with a new unknown disease. It's like me saying that I played with 10 dirty hookers last night and now I suddenly have the Karina virus when we know that's not actually what happened. At this stage, it is suspected that the condition can arise while a child is infected with the Karina virus or weeks later. There have been no reported fatalities so far, and the link between Ku Vide Nin Tine and the syndrome has not been confirmed. Is the average person really this dumb that they can be manipulated by complete dog shit fear mongering news articles? It's ridiculous. They alternate between talking about a new illness and the virus. As of May 5th, the state said 64 potential cases of the condition called pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome associated with COVID-19 have been reported in children in New York hospitals, including New York City. New York City initially reported 15 cases, saying the children aged 2 to 15 had a fever with more than half of them reported a rash, abdominal pain, vomiting, or diarrhea. Thankfully, most children with COVID-19 only experience mild symptoms, but in some, a dangerous inflammatory syndrome can develop. State Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker said in a statement, While we continue to reduce cases through social distancing, discoveries like this remind us we are still in the middle of our response to this deadly pandemic. No deaths have been reported in New York due to the illness, and the health department hasn't said where the cases are located in the state. Okay, so you're basically describing an unknown illness. You don't know what it is. No idea as a 
coronavirus-like disease, and then saying that most people with coronavirus only experience mild symptoms, trying to intertwine it as if it's the same thing. This is the epitome of the psychological warfare operation that our media is shoving down the throats of the American people, and they are taking it like sissy la la idiots. Do not stand for this absolute bull. An initial survey by the New York State Department of Health has found 64 cases of children presenting with a new pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome likely linked to COVID-19. News 4 first reported Wednesday. Please explain to me why it's likely linked to COVID-19. Just like me playing with those hookers last night is linked to me getting COVID-19. Is it linked to COVID-19 the same way someone who dies in a scaffolding accident died from COVID-19? Someone who died from stage four lung cancer, got slapped with the COVID-19 label. New information, doctors in New York City now sounding the alarm on a mysterious illness being seen in children. The syndrome was first reported in Europe and is believed to be linked to Doctors say 15 children have been hospitalized with symptoms similar to toxic shock syndrome or Kawasaki disease. That includes inflammation of the blood vessels, including coronary arteries. Many of these children have had coronavirus. The health department says none of the patients with this syndrome in New York have died. This is happening all through Europe. Dr. Jane Newberger, director of the Kawasaki program at Boston Children's Hospital, told NBC News, it is definitely happening in various cities on the East Coast and in some parts of the Midwest. Newberger said the illness may come as a post-immune reaction to COVID, meaning the body seemingly overcompensates and essentially keeps fighting a disease that is no longer attacking the body, possibly even weeks after having contracted a virus like COVID-19. Yeah. The reason people are getting sick in Europe and the cities on the East Coast is because that's where the new Wi-Fi infrastructure is installed. It's where people are getting radiation poisoning. They're getting fried like chickens in a microwave. The body is overcompensating and keeps fighting a disease that is no longer attacking the body. Who believes this bullshit? If there's no inflammatory reaction, because the body's not attacking the body, you wouldn't be fighting it off. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. From Fukushima, after the first round of signs and symptoms, a person with radiation sickness may have a brief period with no apparent illness, followed by the onset of new, more serious symptoms. So they put up these towers while everyone is in lockdown. Now, a few weeks later, you know, everything was set up approximately one month ago, the children are getting sick. This is textbook radiation sickness, delayed onset of the symptoms. Most of the children hospitalized with the mystery ailment tested positive for the coronavirus or antibodies to it, state officials said. I mean, a fucking fruit. A pawpaw tested positive for the virus. So how does that hold any weight? If everyone tests positive for it, you can blame any symptoms whatsoever. We know what's happening. Make people aware of what they are doing. This is a literal military weapon attack on children, on people, and if it's gotten to this point where they're killing children and influencers aren't speaking up, because if you think these people playing along, all the other carnivores, the vegans, all of these intelligent doctors and stuff, let me tell you something, if these people aren't smarter than me, we are completely screwed. They just want to have their mediocre living live in their house. They don't care if children are getting killed. And that's the sad part. These people would rather have their mediocre YouTube channel, their mediocre living with their mediocre family as opposed to tell the truth and help other people. Humans are inherently selfish and I don't expect any of these influencers to have any semblance of respect. And after, if all this is over and you know, a month or two from now, things start going back to normal, I hope people don't forget who spoke up about this and who didn't. It's, it's pretty sad that these people still have followers at all without addressing this. It is really sad. It's one thing if you made a video saying, you know, okay, I can't address the truths about this and um, I'm just gonna stick to my own thing as opposed to actually actively participating in the disinfo, in spreading that we should listen to the government in any capacity whatsoever. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could please share this. Uh, if you do want a flyer that you can hand out 
Uh, you can sign up to my newsletter at frank stefanocom Outside of that, there are a bunch of other ways you guys can support me down in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Uh, we're going to do a live stream later on the channel, Frank Tufano. I'll link that down below as well. And uh, we'll see what we're going to discuss. Maybe we'll just do a Toyota Corolla discussion because that's all you guys want to seem to talk about.